Hi guys, I wanted to shoot a quick video. Um, I have been watching a lot of flip throughs on YouTube and on on Facebook on the Fobinichi group, and um, I have a little bit of a concern for those of us who are doing our Fobinichis. Now, I have not been I have been keeping up in mind, but not as much as I would like to for various reasons. Just like you, our lives are busy, and then there are those who are on top of theirs. I mean, it's just like, boom, every single day when you see their flip through, they are amazing. They have pictures and they've drawn in them. They've watercolored and they've put stickers and, you know, you name it. And this is why a lot of us want to do our Fobonichis is because we see other people doing theirs. But what I'm hearing a lot of people on their flip throughs is that they're not very happy at their pages because either there's not a lot of activity on there, not a lot of pictures, there's a lot of plain space all over their page and everything. My best advice to you is don't worry about it. Make your book your book. Don't worry about someone else whose book is covered from edge to edge, top to bottom. And they have, you know, amazing things happening in their day. And they have these hand-drawn pictures and their pages look fantastic. And they do. But just because your page doesn't look like that doesn't mean it's not a good page. Make your book your book. Don't worry about what someone else's book is, is looking like. Um... I think a lot of us get caught up on wanting to be like someone else, or we want our book to look like someone else's. Well, we are not them, and our life is not their life. Case in point, here in my household, my husband works, I stay home, our daughters are grown and out of the house. My day consists of me getting up, having my coffee, having my quiet time with God, doing my Bible study, running errands, doing laundry, cleaning the house, running to farmer's market if it's Wednesday, um, possibly washing the car, watching YouTube videos, possibly posting a video, and sometimes just kind of sitting in my room going, okay, what am I going to do next? There's a lot of that. And you know what? That's okay. That's my day. And then there are days where, like, I'll hear the garage door open. My husband's coming home early. Hey, I took off early. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to dinner. I, I took off early and tomorrow, so let's go do a day trip somewhere. And that happens, too. And sometimes I put that in my book, and sometimes I don't. If I don't take time to put something in my book every day, post-it notes are my best friend. And make them your best friend, too. Little old post-it note pad, it doesn't matter. You jot down a couple of things that happened in the, that particular day, you pull it off and you slap it on that day, and you move on to the next day. And even if two weeks go by and you haven't done anything in your book, when you do have some downtime and you feel like catching up in your book or trying to catch up in your book, you pull it out. And don't go all the way back to the very first post-it note. Go to the very first one going back, and then work your way backwards. And then once you've had your fill of doing that, be done with it. But then as each day goes by, if you don't take time to write down in your book, just pull out your post-it note, write down what happened that day, stick it in on that day. Then a couple of days will go by and you'll have some downtime and you'll say, okay, let me try to do something in my, my Fobonichi. Then go to the oldest post-it note and work your way forward. Do it until you've had your fill, and eventually you will find that you have caught up. So don't worry about if your pages and your book isn't as thick and as big as everyone else's, or your pages aren't as full as everyone else's. It's your life. Don't make their life your life, and don't make your life their life. Yours is yours. Theirs is theirs. You know, the, the saying is, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Don't. Don't worry about what the Joneses are doing. Just worry about what's going on in your life. And there's nothing wrong if there's nothing on a day, on a page. It's okay. And if you feel like just incorporating stickers and, and cutting pictures out of a magazine and make that your page, that's fine. And if all you had to do is just say, today I was blessed with another day to get up and see the wonderful creations that God has blessed me with, that's all you can ask for. Okay, so sometimes a day that doesn't have a whole lot going on is a blessing. Believe me when I tell you, because just because a person is busy from the moment that they wake up to the moment they go to bed, you don't know what their life consists of. They may have kids in school where they 
you know, their kids are in activities, they drop them off at school, and someone forgot their lunch, or they forgot their backpack, or they needed money for this, or they had to go to the store and go buy them this, because this trip is coming up. You know, everyone's life is their own. I just don't want you to keep getting discouraged because you feel that your page doesn't look like someone else's. Well, it shouldn't look like someone else's because that's not your life. That's their life. So don't get discouraged. Don't make it more than what it needs to be for you. And if you're finding that it's a little overwhelming for you to do it every every day, do it every other day. Or put two days on a page. Or, here's a better idea, just do an overview of the whole week. This is what I love about the, the journal books that don't have the dates already on there that you can make your own. You can just go day by day, and if you decide that you're only going to do a weekly Fobonichi and give a weekly overview, there's nothing wrong with that. And that way you can just sit there and you can just give a whole overview of the whole week, and then you're done. And then you wait to the next week, and then you do another overview of the whole week. And if that works better in your schedule and in your mindset of doing something, then maybe that's the way that you should do it. Maybe doing it every day is too much for you. So just don't get discouraged and just don't allow yourself to not continue in it because you feel that you're not busy enough every single day. You know, in my mind, I don't want to be that busy every day. I shouldn't be that busy every day. I gave up that busy life long time ago. Once my girls were old enough to take care of themselves and do their own thing, and then now that they're really out of the house, I don't want my day being that busy. I've had my fill of busy days. This is the second half of my life, and I'm living it the way that I want to. And if I don't feel like doing anything for the day, you know what? That's all I was meant to do for that day, and that's okay because that's my day. It may not be your day, but that's my day. I don't feel that I haven't accomplished anything just because I don't have, you know, edge-to-edge -edge activity on my book. I have a lot going on, but um, it just doesn't need to be every single minute of the day that I feel like I need to be doing something. If I'm not, I'm not accomplishing anything. Oh, I accomplish a lot because I have sound mind and I'm not stressed and I don't worry. I don't worry about anything. I just take things as they come and if I have a busy day, great. If I don't, it's like, hey, then God made, made today for me to kick back and just relax and just really take my time and just enjoy what the day has to bring me. Okay, so don't get discouraged, ladies, okay? Make your book your book. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. Never lose sight of who you are. God didn't create you to be your brother or your sister or to be like your mother or your father or your cousin or your best friend. God created you to be you. And your day is going to consist of what you want it to be and the way that you need it to be. Okay, so just remember that. I hope this video helps you because um, I, I just don't want you to get discouraged. I think having your own Fobonichi is a wonderful thing. So you just may need to rethink your process. Maybe do it on a weekly basis instead of a daily basis. Okay, take a thought. Take time and think about that, okay, because you may need to change your whole mindset. All right, thank you, ladies. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye now.